Do you know the difference between the soul and the spirit? Do you know what is the fifth dimension of which all the spiritualists are talking about? Do you know a clearly comprehensible and practical method to establish a conscious contact with the soul and the spirit to achieve the fifth dimension? These questions are answered by The Paradigm of Sins, a book I wrote after a 20 years career treating hundreds of people and 10 years of observations, research and tests. I'm Cavalier. I'm now launching the Portuguese version of the book in Brazil. It is currently being translated to English. In this video, I'll tell you the story of this book. It is one of the most incredible stories of my life. It all started with my passion for Carl Jung, the creator of Jungian psychology. Jung is one of the craziest people I have ever heard of. Like many other spiritualists, he dedicated himself to be in touch with his soul, the self. But he did something very rare among spiritualists. Carl Jung created a practical method capable of helping people to establish a conscious relationship with their soul and express it materially. In spite of being a spiritualist, I am terribly skeptical. But when I realized that Jung's perspective was scientific, that his method was comprehensible, and the results were concrete and material, Jung had me. I started to study Jungian psychology and everything that comes with it non-stop. Theology, philosophy, mythologies from around the world, astrology, and alchemy. While dedicating myself to developing my own consciousness, I worked for 10 years with hundreds of people analyzing their unconscious minds and helping them to establish a conscious relationship with the self, the word Jung uses when referring to the soul. But in 2008, something blew my mind. Dream analysis is key in Jungian psychology. I had already analyzed literally thousands of dreams when someone showed up with dreams that had a completely different structure. I felt insecure. Was I looking at structures, symbols and archetypes I didn't know? Or was I completely missing the point? But when more and more people started to show the same weird pattern, I was in shock. One day, I realized that people with this unusual dream pattern had a characteristic in common. All of them were very advanced psychologically and had completed the Jungian process a few years before. I had an insight. I was before an entirely different psychological dynamic a psychological tear that was deeper than the unconscious mind. The paradigm of sense was born. But wait, let's go back a little bit. Jungian psychology as a whole show the relationship people have with their souls. In other words, the relationship between the ego and the soul. Yes, my dearest. This irritating repetition made by spiritualists about killing the ego is nonsense, a consequence of the astonishing ignorance of the holistic world. In Jungian psychology, ego and consciousness are the same thing. You are conscious, right? So you are an ego. Only patients of psychiatric hospitals who are not conscious of themselves don't have an ego. If you follow this holistic teaching and are able to destroy your ego, that's where you are going. Be careful about what you read. But although the ego never dies, never stops existing, it is important that it learns to recognize 
and to follow the soul's will because the soul is much larger than the ego. That's exactly what Jungian psychology teaches. Jung's method works. What happens when it works? How is the life of someone who su successfully completed the process described by Carl Jung? This is what the paradigm of sense is all about. It describes the reality that exists beyond the soul, the spirit. One of Jung's books I like the most is Essays on Kundalini Yoga. In that book, Jung analyzes the Kundalini Yoga's chakra system from his psychology's perspective. Jung says that most of mankind is presently at the level of consciousness of the third chakra, the solar plexus. I think the holistic world wouldn't like that very much. Jung also shows that the conscious relationship with the soul happens in the fourth chakra, the cardiac chakra. I inspired myself in that opus to create the terms I use a lot. 2D, 3D, 4D, and 5D. The paradigm of sense starts by describing the reality of most people who live at the ego consciousness level only. That's the third dimension. Then it describes the life of those who have already learned to be an ego and to follow the soul's will. This is the fourth dimension brilliantly described by Jung throughout his collected works. Finally, the paradigm of sense delivers its highest creation. It describes the life of those who got in touch with the spirit. That's the fifth dimension, a multi-paradoxical and multi-dimensional reality in which people experience the freedom to be and the ability to edit their own reality. But I need to be honest, in this book you won't find the fantasy, the holistic world created about the fifth dimension. If you believe that the fifth dimension is made only of light, fairies, and spiritual masters, that all your problems will be solved and everybody will live happily ever after, I recommend you watch Disney's movies. They're so cute. Now, if you like books that offer a clear consciousness, allowing you to know exactly what the fifth dimension is and practical methods that show you exactly what to do, the paradigm of sense is the right book for you. Take a look at some of the themes the book focuses. The difference between the soul and the spirit. The spirit is beyond morals and ethics. Lilith, the most enigmatic and feared goddess there is. The multi-paradoxical consciousness. The multi-dimensional consciousness. What is the truth? What is karma? How can you destroy karma? How does time in the fifth dimension look like? What does space look like? What is the manifestation of the spirit? What is the holy grail? 